morning everybody this is breakfast time again hallelujah happy new week and happy stress-free week in jesus christ's name praise the lord god is faithful hallelujah so without wasting much of our time we are still on the responsibility talk hallelujah so by god's grace today we are going to be seeing tv scriptures praise the lord i remember last time we talked about the children parents taking responsibility of our children and today, let's see what God has for us. And I trust him to speak to us in a special way today. Our first scripture is taken from Jeremiah chapter number 3, verse 15. Look at what it says here. It says, and now we give you leaders. Probably your fashion may be pastors after my own heart. Who will guide you with knowledge and understanding. And when we see the second scripture, which is Jeremiah chapter 23, verse 28 the bible says, let the first prophet tell their dreams but let my true messengers faithfully proclaim my very word there is difference between shaft and width 29 does not my word burn like fire ask the lord is it not like the mighty hammer that smashes rock into pieces and the last one which is acts of the apostle chapter 20 verse 28 and this is what the bible says he said and now beware be sure that you feed the shepherd sorry that you feed and shepherd the god's flock his church purchased with his blood over whom the Holy Spirit has appointed you as leaders. Praise Master Jesus. The message Bible says, be on your toes. Praise the Lord. The title is, Pastors, Leaders, Take Responsibility in Feeding the Flock. Praise the Lord. Feeding the flock. What is food? To feed means give, the, give them food. What is food? As I wrote here, food is any nourishing substance that is eaten drank or otherwise taken into the body to sustain one life two to provide energy three to promote growth praise the lord the lord expects leaders over his flock what to to, to to feed them with substance nourishing substance that sustains life spiritual and physical life that prom, to, that provides energy strength and that promote what growth. My question is, sir, what are you feeding us with? Pastor, leader, mommy, what are you feeding the flock with? Praise Master Jesus. I wrote here, I said, God expects, God expects you to give us his own diluted word. According to what? The, 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 uh, the word of God in Jeremiah. He said, my very word. And he compared that very word like fire he compared it liking it to fire is it not like fire what does fire does fire burns fire refine fire beautify does your word that does that word that word that proceed from the altar does it still does it still renew does it still refine does it still does this does it still promote or it or is a uh, how do I call it? Promote reverence in the midst of the brethren. And later he said, he likened it again. Is it not like a hammer that is able to smash rock? Did you still produce? Did you still bring that forth those words from the Lord? Because what does this word do? Sustain life. Promote, uh, provide energy and promote growth. And now this is what he says. If your message that you are you are preaching you are still giving us you are feeding us with does not promote reverence for god does not promote holiness and righteousness does not does not prepare people for the kingdom and prepare them to be useful also on it then sir you are not taking responsibility ask say be on your toes you are not on your toes it is your responsibility and look at the jeremiah 3 15 he said something he said he said what I will give you leaders after my own heart that will guide you in knowledge. That will guide you in knowledge. 
Knowledge of what? Not only knowledge of the world. Yes, many of us are so prepared, preparing people for, the, for heaven. And many of us are just useless here. We are not affecting our lives here. God expects you. When he said, he said, he said, he has given us what the power to dominate. We are not going to heaven to dominate here. Are you promoting knowledge in the church? Are you promoting understanding? Knowledge, what is knowledge? He said information or awareness gained through experience or education. I hear people say the louder you hallelujah, the quicker the miracle. Ah, no, there is a place for work. Are you prom the, the knowledge that you have is what tells us that after we have fasted for 40 days, then we should go and sow the seed. That is knowledge. That there is a time to sow. Then the understanding is the seed that you will sow the seed and you, you make us understand that when the seed is sown, there is always an increase because while you are talking from experience, what is understanding is knowing or realizing the intent meaning or cause of something. We have so many brothers, we have so many sisters, we have so many jobless people in the church, serving God faith fervently, carrying for a two by two Bible up and down. They are not doing anything. And so are you promoting knowledge? Are you are you informing them? Are you are you passing the message to them that they can they can they can learn something? They can go to school. They can do they can do something to affect their generation. I remember we were talking the other day, myself and my husband. We were just discussing, and we discovered that there are some persons when you take Bible away from them, they can't do any other thing. God did not create nonentity. No, God did not create. People that are not useful. He sent us into the world. He said, what? Multiply, dominate, be in charge. You cannot be in charge. We cannot speak in tongues morning till night. I want to change things. When you finish speaking in tongues, then you put, you go what? Into action. That is where your faith comes in. It takes knowledge and understanding for us to understand that we need to act after we have prayed. After we have prayed, there is a place of acting. And so that is your job to tell us. Are you promoting knowledge? Are you promoting knowledge? Single sisters are trusting God for partners. They are not doing anything to improve their life. They are just there. You are telling them the same time next year. The same time next year. God expects people, expects helpmates. What do they have to help with? What are they having to help with? Brothers are trusting God for one thing or the other. What are they? What what do they have to carry out that job that God is putting in their hands? Apostle Paul was able to break grounds because why? He had understanding. He was a knowledgeable man. Praise Master Jesus. So this morning, I just have a few words to tell us. A man just have a few words to tell us that God expects you to feed us not only with the word, equip us with knowledge. Teach us how we can dominate our world, how we can take over for Jesus, how we can be in the offices. I remember Miles Moro the other time. He said he, 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 he speaks with prime ministers. If he didn't go to school, how will he do that? I know everybody cannot go to school, but some can learn trade. People can come to your shop. People can come anywhere. So are you equipping us with the word, with the knowledge, with the understanding, or you are just making us to shout and pray? It is God's word is not only a spiritual book, but it is a book, a book that contains everything you need. Spiritual, politics, everything is inside. Everything. And it is your duty, sir, to equip us with this full knowledge. And I pray as you do this, that God will bless you, be good in Jesus' name, and God will strengthen you to raise up giants giant generous not just followers not ninnies but giants that will take over the world in jesus name so have a stress-free week ahead of you god bless you we good in jesus mighty name shalom
wishing